So Vince, what you doing here? I am hand mixing cement for forms that will end up being the component parts of our full counterweight. Oh. Each of these uh, forms here are nine by nine by nine. And we are mixing cement to fill them. And then once they dry, they should each come out to be around 70 to 80 pounds. And that way when we have all of them put together inside of the counterweight basket, we can adjust our weight from our total of over 300 pounds to anything we'd like by removing them one at a time. So we're just being, using a miter saw today. We're really just building our A-frames. Those are our focus for right now. Um, our two towers on the sides that'll hoist our counterweight and firing arm in between. So we've got all our angles calibrated just to make sure they're flush when they connect with the base and the firing block. So I've got the miter saw set to those. I've got my lines uh, set out on the 4x4, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut from here and then have, uh, have all the component parts of the different pieces of wood done. And from there, just bolt together the final uh, A-frame assembly and then attach them in their uh, different component pieces to the base for our whole thing. final pieces on our full A-frames, putting the, the second piece of the firing block on top so we can mill through and then run our fulcrum rod through that our firing arm is going to rotate on. Um, so that's actually what we're finishing up right now. We've drilled guide holes through the both of these. We're throwing in uh, six inch lag screws with big washers on the top via a little bit of an impact wrench just to make sure everything's safe. And then um, as you can see here, this is what one of our final A-frames uh, looks like when it's complete. Uh, we've got anchors on both ends. The anchors on the vertical end on the bottom are actually already on the base. We've got 2x4s across the 4x4 triangle with the vertical just to make sure everything's safe and sound because our counterweight is going to be heavy. So structural, integ uh, structural integrity is important. on the holes today to drive our fulcrum bar through which is what we're using right here um, we're milling both the holes through our firing blocks and the tops of our a-frames we've got uh, both of them done and we've got to get those through so we can put our fulcrum through eventually mount our firing arm on that and go from there but this is an important part because what we're going to do is mill these two holes and then attach our A-frames to the base and then keep our bar through just to make sure everything is stable. Okay, we just put all of the component pieces together, at least for our structural frame. So we built this piece down here, this base individually, as well as each of the A-frames individually. We measured out all of our angles, cut them. We've got two by fours across the A-frames just to make sure everything's solid. Used impact wrench, drove our six inch lag bolts in. Um, everything is pretty sturdy. Everything from, we've got bolts going through on the 2x4s to keep everything from flexing. All the weight of our counterweight, etc. is going to keep it completely down. And uh, I mean, it's designed for weight. No issues there. 